I am on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology and this is an exclusive Patreon only membership videos where you will get some interesting takes on Vedic astrology, some interesting learning on Vedic astrology which I can usually will not upload on general YouTube platform. Connect with me on Patreon and we will grow and I will give you much more deep insights on Vedic astrology and lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Puneet's Astrology, your one stop astro channel. Mercury goes retrograde 3 to 4 times a year. This time it is getting retrograde on 29th of December. In fact, it is just getting retrograde around 0 degrees of Capricorn and then it will fall back to Sagittarius and the year will start with a retrograde Buddha, retrograde Mercury and Sun conjunction in Sagittarius zodiac sign. And Mercury will continue its retrogression till 18th of January, just a day after Saturn moves to the sign of Aquarius. So if you observe that Buddha is just touching Capricorn and returning back to Sagittarius at the beginning of 2023, talks a lot about uh, how you are going to deal with your career, how you are going to deal with your status, how some promises can be broken. So definitely it's a time that a lot of uh, in general people make new year resolutions. You will see that sometimes the planning that you will have at the end of year for the next year will be changed and you will have to revisit your plans again. So when you are making any plan, especially for January, February and hereafter, give yourself a scope to revisit. If you go too cut to cut, if you go, if you choke yourself with space and if you don't have any bandwidth, any buffer, then the retrograde mercury effects can actually put you into some deep trouble, some time constraint, delivery constraint, productivity issues can come during this time. A retrograde Buddh is a very a common phenomena. It happens quite a times in a year. But the thing is that a retrograde Mercury is very, very important because Buddha represents our consciousness. Mercury represents the trade and commerce throughout the world. Buddha also rules the third house and sixth house of the Kalpurush. Therefore, 50% of the energies of the Upachya house, the house responsible for finance and financial generation, job, entrepreneurship, actually is under the control of this merchant planet Mercury. Buddha is also responsible for communication. So a retrograde Mercury period can, for a very brief period of time, can bring a distorted communication, a distorted consciousness and a distortion in understanding of the subject. Nothing negative. All you have to do is when you decide on something, when you assume something, when you plan something, revisit it multiple times. Because the more you try to revisit, the more, the better will be the chance that the flaws will be corrected. Because not in a single attempt, you will be able to correct all the flaws. So it is always better, say you are planning for a vacation. In a new year, you have a plan and immediately in the first half to do something big, maybe buy a property, maybe book a property, book a car, do something uh, that you think will carry forward for the entire year. You will have to give yourself that extra room. When Mercury touches Capricorn, obviously it is touching the energy of Saturn and then coming back, falling back to Sun, which is Sagittarius. So try to think like this. Because Mercury is a messenger planet, it relays the message from Saturn to Sun. And when Sun is in Sagittarius, Saturn is in Capricorn, it talks about the Atma and the Dharma. So it's a message from the karma and dharma to the Atman. That means it's a time to rigorously work on self-development. It is a time to uh, work on your own personal growth. So this is the time when you can work on your personality. You can work on your communication skill. If you are into IT, if you are into communications, you can learn a new language. It's also a good time to anyway learn a new foreign language because that opens up you into a different area of the world. 
not necessarily that you are going to gain anything out of it but just sometimes uh, giving the feed to your brain actually engages your brain into some constructive activity rather than thinking on the negative side of life some plans may not work out that if made under the energies of retrograde mercury in fact anything after 25th 26th of december will come under the domain of retrograde buddha also you have to understand that once the mercury goes retrograde venus is also moving out of sagittarius and venus will go into the zodiac sign of capricorn and venus will join saturn so both the events are happening hand in hand so definitely this is the time when you can hear some communication from a long lost friend from a lost relation that can upset you some information because mercury is also information and data analysis so some information can confuse you you will get uh, varieties of information and you won't be able to figure out what is right and what is wrong that's typical retrograde mercury right all you have to do is to keep churning the information till you figure out what is right and what is wrong assumptions quick decisions should not be made during this time and especially for students or people involved in trade and commerce especially who work in stock market should be very very careful regarding your investments done in this period or regarding planning done during this period once mercury goes into capricorn and comes back to sagittarius it's a fire earth element mercury falling back to fire element which means this wants you to work on something so this retrograde mercury can suddenly put you on toes suddenly there will be a rage a surge of enthusiasm out of nowhere and you would want to work on something maybe a new career maybe a job change suddenly you will start floating your resume suddenly you will start thinking of starting a new business it's a it's a time when young entrepreneurs will be impacted the most suddenly you will think that you need to upscale yourself there can be a a wave of ideas and a wave of thoughts in your mind all you have to do is ride on those wave and thoughts and do not act on it because when you will act you have to be very sure because you are translating your thoughts into action and action have consequences so you will have to be very practical and venus and saturn talks about filtering out the so called charming thoughts and coming to reality so this retrograde buddha will actually help you gather the inaccessible information that brings you to reality so which means lot of data that will come to you may not be pleasant you might hear something that you don't want to hear but that does not necessarily mean that things are actually bad it only means that it gives you better scope to be prepared in life and with saturn venus conjunction and the energies of saturn and venus coming in a in a capricornian way it wants you to tirelessly work quit your comfort zone and maybe now it is the time to work for yourself so 2023 is when you take great care of yourself you have to focus on yourself your identity in hindi we call this atmanirbhar self dependent independent i will say the zodiac of gemini and the zodiac sign of virgo will be impacted the most in a sense because both are ruled by buddha especially virgo because uh, for virgo buddh will be touching the 5th house and then going back to the 4th house so if you are a virgo ascendant if you are a virgo moon sign you will have to control your nerves you have to control your senses because this can make you highly uncomfortable but it also has the tendency to increase your productivity you can improvise on yourself your happiness and mercury can relay the information that was hiding from the plain eyes plain eyesight and and that gives you a better understanding about yourself whereas on for sagittarius mercury will be on your lagna you will have to be very careful about your finances and it is true for everyone because mercury is going to touch capricorn and fall back to sagittarius and this is a festive season this is a time of travel where you meet your family 
you plan it thoroughly there can be hurdles in, in while traveling ticket issues uh, a sudden weather change something that is that will start creating problems minor problems minor hiccups but retrograde mercury effect will be seen during that time be prepared with a backup plan the best way to handle this buddha is to have a backup plan of everything and you will see that when once you have a backup plan you will be tension free one good thing about this buddha is that the dispositor of retrograde buddha and surya sun and mercury is actually jupiter and jupiter is very strong in the sign of pisces now because jupiter is strong this retrograde buddha ultimate intent is to uplift you give you more comfort put you into a position where your problems are less and happiness is more satisfaction is more so it's like initial a uh, rapid communication rapid change a domino effect that ultimately leads to a better future a better life so whatever event happens during this this small quick 15 day period give it great importance and before taking any major decision especially related to marriage especially related to career initiatives taken by you and most importantly in matters related to communication you will have to think twice because it might be also a case where you have said something and then you have to apologize when you don't want to because it was just a heat of moment debates should be avoided during this time it's a good time for writers influencers vloggers it's also a good time for people who are involved in export and import trading tourism and commerce but a retrograde mercury can also bring a bad message why i'm giving this contrasting picture because the transit is contrasting on one hand it will give you opportunity on the other hand it will bring opportunity with caveats and clauses but that's what the planet is all about and that is what the understanding of the matter subject is and if you understand this you will be in a much better position to handle the energies wisely chanting om namo bhagavate vasudevaya praying to narayan chanting purusha suktam vishnu sahasra naam vishnu shodash naam stotra all this will help you understand the reality and you can differentiate the dark from the light reading bhagavad gita is actually a very good way of finding answers to the question when you are in a dilemma retrograde mercury generally puts the world into dilemma things see retrograde planet is obviously a planet that is deviated not doing its natural thing so if mercury is a planet that wants to relay right information retrograde planet means either the information is coming in excess either some some secrets is getting revealed or the right information is getting superimposed with various layers and it will be your task to figure out what is the right layer so either it puts the right information below different layers of other kind of information to confuse you or if there is already an information that is stuck it can simply bring it right in front of you that is why it flips things retrograde mercury in any retrograde planet has the power to flip the event into a very surprising direction and uh, mercury is actually a very 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 important planet take care of your health take care of your skin take care of your immunity a retrograde buddh is going to challenge your immunity during this time eat healthy try to be fit physically do a lot of pranayam and do a lot of energy healing for yourself because retrograde buddh also has the potential that few of you who are blessed can actually tap and communicate into different realm not so usual communication normal mercury is like a communication between you and me and different people in the world retrograde mercury can also talk about communication to a different world sadhana done during this time mantra japa done during this time actually helps you in a great way just that you will have to be very clear with your message and intent if you manage this this will be a perfect pleasant great time for you a retrograde mercury at the beginning of the year is actually good because sometimes you need that energy to give a much needed push what you do with the energy will define your future please subscribe we'll meet you in the next video for consultations you can drop me an email this is yours puneet namaste